Hi, I'm Mr. Jaime. Welcome to our science class. Today we'll learn about an interesting topic called fertilization and reproduction. Before the miracle of life, there is an incredible process you wouldn't be able to imagine behind it. This process is called fertilization. Remember some of you, when your mother's womb started growing and getting large, this was because she was pregnant. Today, we will talk about this process. I will clarify some doubts you might have concerning how you became the kid you are today. Do you think your parents ordered you by mail or through the internet? Maybe you've heard the story of the stork bringing babies. No, the answer is absolutely not. Those stories are not real. The real thing is that your mom and dad loved each other so much that they decided to have you as their child. To begin with the class, let me remind you that all living things need to reproduce in order for those species to keep existing. Flowers have both a male and a female part. The male part is the stamen and the female part is the pistil. The stamen produces pollen, which are tiny grains that seem to look like a yellow dust. The pistil produces eggs. When pollen joins with an egg in a pistil, a new seed is formed. This process is important for flowers to be able to reproduce. If you've noticed, men and women have different parts that make them unique and special. Your body will change gradually as you grow. Gentlemen and ladies should respect some major changes you start to notice in your body starting from the age of 11. Males and females have both different organs that make up the reproductive system. The male's reproductive organs are penis, testicles, and scrotum. Inside your testicles, there are millions of spermatozoids, which are male cells responsible for the reproduction. The female's reproductive organs are vagina, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. The ovaries produce ova, which is the plural for ovum. One ovum every month. The ovum is the female cell responsible for reproduction in females. When mom and dad love each other, they become married. They can show their feelings having an act of mutual love. When they decide to reproduce, they join their sexual organs. When this happens, millions of spermatozoids, which are the male cells, will try to fertilize the ovum. Millions will try, but only one spermatozoid will enter inside the ovum. This is called fertilization. The fertilized ovum will move from the fallopian tubes to the uterus. When it gets to the uterus, it will stick to one of its walls. Then it will gradually grow until it becomes a baby. Thanks for being with us in this class. We'll see you on next induction.